Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So today we're going to be discussing the best super rarities for all the beginners out there that are, you know, struggling a bit, um, don't know which uh, which hero to bring or they lack ultras. So this guide is going to help you in deciding on which super rarities you would want to take or you may take. So without further ado, let's go to the gallery to your figurine section. And we will start with the three obvious ladies in the thumbnail. And I will start with Karen. So Karen is a militarist. She is in Tenma. And um, Karen is actually one, I think, one of the best finishers at, the, at this rarity. Um, basic attack is Blooming Shuriken. Um, ultimate is Zealot Menace. So this is what makes her good. Strikes the enemy with the lowest health. If the target is, is then defeated, continues to strike another one. So this continues until, you know, uh, until she cannot kill someone anymore or she finishes everybody off. So from what I've seen or, um, or I've experienced, she is going to be good, particularly in your PvE, if you're clearing out mobs and if you happen to have a lot of AoE and you cannot finish, you know, you cannot really finish them off, then Karan would be the one to finish them off. So a very, very good ranged unit and a very good assassin indeed. So the upgrade effect of this skill is at 50% of target's lost health will be converted and added to the damage of the strike. So let's move on to the passive. So ultimate Kitsune attack triggers every 10 seconds and attacks a random target three times. Again, a good, a very, very good uh, passive to have. So upgrade effects, attack one times at level two. At level three, triggers every eight seconds. So again, she's a value for, for a ranged unit, or for a ranged figurine, and also a good assassin if you want to bring her in your team. Um, Southern Girl boosts damage by 50% when there is no surrounding enemy. So for the last one, she actually has boosted damage. So again recommend her for 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 pve for pve content not so much for for pvp but again she is really a good figure to have um if you are a beginner okay to the second one that is in the thumbnail i'm referring to is uh yuki so yuki is actually defender so with the brand galatea so for yuki let's take a look at her skills so for her basic attack so it's the usual so attack speed is fast so baseball attack her ultimate is yuki home run attacks the current target reduces the damage taken by 10 percent for eight seconds so it has energy regener regeneration rate for six uh per second then upgrade effect is boost damage by 15 percent reduces the damage taken by 20 percent for yourself and all teammates and including summon creatures in the same line okay again she is damage damage reduction she's really really tough i tell you guys and this skill really hits a home run i tell you so damage reduction for a passive is uh, yuki strike zone gains 15 percent damage reduction and raises the shield to reflect damage so aside from damage reduction she has damage reflect fixed damage for three seconds when healed by another figurine when the shield is up reflects damage through random surrounding enemies upon being attacked so upon the effect level two boost damage reduction to 18 percent and damage reflection to 15%. That is why she's good, I tell you. Um, very good value for a super rarity. Boost damage reduction up to 20%. Extends the duration of the shield up to 4 seconds when healed. So again, that's at level 2. And her um, special is has 25% of reducing damage taken by 50% when attacked. So again, very tough, very good value at defender. And for your um, super class is yuki so let's proceed to the next one on the thumbnail it's going to be kazooie iwata so she's a specialist and she's from let's let's red so all three in the thumbnail are, are from different brands and uh what makes her special so for her basic attack it's your basic attack uh basic skills so sword play attack speed is intermediate but her um 
ultimate is instant kill. Attacks all enemies in the same line. Energy, energy regeneration rate is 8 per second. Upon a, um, a upgrade effect, so level 2 deals extra damage to the last enemy in the line and marks it, increasing the amount of damage it takes by 15 seconds, a uh, 15% for 5 seconds. So for her, she damages in the line uh, how many there is in front of her and the last enemy will take extra damage. So again, very, very good, especially uh, for actually for both PvE and for PvP. She is still being used in PvP right now. So you can really be competitive in PvP if you bring her uh, in PvP. So for her passive, it's going to be split second. Deals damage to enemies in the same line at the start of each battle. So upgrade effects for this one is bo boost damage by 8% reduces hit. to Enemies damage by 8% for 15 seconds. And boost damage of of allies in the same line by 4% every time the enemy is hit. So she also has a boost damage, a damage boost, sorry, for <laughs> allies in the same line. So very, very good for uh, a specialist. And last skill is going to be uh, her special. So see through, boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 12%. Again, very high value, um, very good for both PV and PVP. So consider bringing her. I actually started with her um, when I was playing in soft launch. Um, really, really good figure to have. So please do make sure that you use her for both PVP and PVE. So aside from the three that I recommended uh, first based on the thumbnail, there are other, there, there's another three that I'd like to share with you guys that I think is very good as well. So one, uh, uh, first and foremost, is going to be Chris. So he, he's a militarist. Galatea, as for Chris, he deals tremendous amount of damage. Only single target, but again, he has Frost, guys. So Frost causes the target to lose health every second. This ignores its defense. When Frosted, it target's attack speed will be reduced by 50%. So again, very good effect. Some free greens attack against the enemies that are frosted, dealing extra frost damage to them. Again, he's a very good uh, he's a very good figure to have, especially if you want to frost some of your enemies. Um, and good basic attack because his basic attack has frost as well. For his ultimate is Maniac Zone, enters the Berserker state for 50 seconds, boosting attack speed by 8%. Also at attacks uh deal a great amount of damage at the same time so aside from dealing tremendous attack uh, tremendous damage uh, attack speed is also increased if a target is frosted attacks also deal extra frost damage okay so next is going to be um his passive which is biting sunlight the first attack after an ultimate deals a large amount of extra damage so again, um, more damage coming your way, uh, particularly to the poor soul that r is right in front of him. So upgrade effects. So level 2, the first attack after the ultimate freezes the target for 3 seconds. Aside from receiving a large amount of damage or extra damage. And boost attack speed by 3% for 50 seconds after the freezing the target. So again, a lot of buffs coming his way once um, freeze triggers and his passive um i know it's not passive special the phantom six boosts damage by 50 percent when there is no surrounding enemies so again very good as a finisher as well uh but you will need him if you need um great great amount of damage for a single target okay off to number five so who is number five and who could it be We'll go to Sapphire. So Sapphire is a defender, one of the most, you know, one of the high-valued defenders in your super rarity. So as for Sapphire, let's see how uh, what makes her great for her basic attack is actually just basic. Again, great sword strike. Uh, Holy Judgment is her ultimate, so attacks the current target, deals damage to it, and reduces its attack by 20% for 10 seconds. So energy reduction rate is a 6 out of uh, or per second. So upgrade effect, boost damage by 15%. This arms the target for 5 seconds. So take note, this arm um, target cannot attack. So for 5 seconds. So very cool. Very cool. Um, very, very, very efficient uh, defender. And for her passive, which is actually, I think, uh, insane. 
Defiant Shield grants a shield to all your figurines at the start of each battle for 10 seconds. If it gives you a head start, um, the shield will be adjusted by the figurine's max health. Really insane, guys. Upgrade effect. The shield is 15% stronger while the shield holds increased defense by 35%. Again, um, she's good not only for, her, for herself as a defender, but the buffs that she gives or the protection that she gives to her teammates or her allies. And at level 3, boost the damage the shield absorbs by 20%, also increases its duration by 15 seconds. So again, there are a lot of things working in her shield. And where's her shield, by the way? It's only a sword. Anyway, just a joke. Um, I know that she she does a, a force field like a shield. But her special is has 25%. It's a breakable will. Has 25% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% uh, when attacked. So again, very good value for a tank. So um, you, know, you now have two options for tanks. Sapphire or... The other one is going to be Yuki. So, so far we have discussed um, two range militarists. Then we have two defenders and one specialist. The last one would be another ranged uh, figure, which is Minakami. So he's a militarist and he belongs with the <laughs> Let's Red. So what is good about him? Uh, fast attack speed for his basic attack. Ultimate is Shinobi Soul Chase summons a clone that lasts for 10 seconds. This is actually what's good about him because of the clone. And he's a ranged um, figure. So clone lasts for 10 seconds. Clone's attack is equal to 180% of Minamaki, Minakami and 30% of health. Also boosts attack speed by 30%. So again, um, this doubles his efficiency or damage dealing in ranged. And take note, upon the up, uh, upgrade effect, grants a 30% chance to summon an extra clone. So again, if you do summon for an extra clone, it's going to really improve the value of this skill. So let's move on to his passive. So Shinobi Abyss, each attack deals extra damage after a clone is summoned. So another good uh, kit, uh, another good buff to his kit. So upgrade effect, boost attack speed by 30% after a clone is summoned. And at level 3... Boost damage by 20%. Restores 20 energy when the clone disappears on its own. So again, the, the clone recycles itself. And the last one is his special. So boost damage by 15% when there is no surrounding enemies. Again, very, very good value for super rarity, guys. So there are six that I am really pushing that you use as beginners. Um, do not, you know, do not, do not... Do not tell yourself that they are just, uh, you know, a super rarity. Uh, they're not good as your ultras. But really, guys, they're one, they are one of the best that you can use and even develop up until the middle stages of the game. Until you get those ultra rarities, you can actually use these supers. The rest, um, not going to be recommending uh, beyond those six. But again, with those six, you already have a few that you can use. As for um, as for Vanguard, um, not really recommending a few um, these two. But for the other positions, you can actually use. So there are six to choose from. Um, be my guest. Um, hope you actually get to use some of them uh, when you start out, and hope that I, I hope that this video helps you. Um, Make up your mind on which super rarity you're going to use. Okay, guys. So for those who have stuck this far, um, thank you very much. And uh, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss um, figure fantasy videos from my channel. And also, again, another one. Don't forget to um, put a like to this video. So, guys, thank you very much. Um, stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.